But first, a story you'll only see on Fox. Philadelphia police sweeping the city, confiscating illegal dirt bikes and ATVs. And it comes just days after a biker stomped out a mother's back window. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. And tonight's crackdown is all part of an effort to get these dangerous drivers off the streets. Steve, you've been following police all night. Well, detective sources told me earlier in the week of this game plan for this two-day detail to get these dirt bikes and ATVs off the streets as much as possible. And so they went out tonight, and the plan was to use the Philadelphia Police helicopter known as Tech Air from above to spot the dirt bikes and ATVs on the ground and then radio the locations to the ground squads who just waited for them to stop for food, fuel, or just lock up their rides. Ready? It was ATV after ATV. Dirt bike after dirt bike. And then trailer after trailer. Filled up, then emptied out at the police impound. Then back out to fill up again. Starting in the daylight. and still going strong into the twilight. This the second of a two-day crackdown on illegal all-terrain vehicles, ATVs, and dirt bikes, where it's not terrain and dirt they're being driven on, but Philadelphia city streets. And this mass confiscation detail happening in the same week, just days after the Sunday night seen around the world millions of times video of a biker stomping in the back window of a hardworking woman delivering food with her two children in the back seat. Philly police were ticketing owners for fines of up to 2,000 bucks and taking away their rides for good. So the VIN numbers, the vehicle identification numbers scratch, etched off. Yes. So half the letters are, half yeah. The letter, half yeah. the letters. And that makes you figure it's, it's stolen. Pretty much. All right, so we'll finally get a tally in the morning because they're still out now rounding some more up. And then we'll be there to hear that crunching sound of steel when they stick all these ATVs and dirt bikes they're confiscating tonight into a car crusher at a local joke yard. Now, Sheba Jason, I just called a detective and I said, how'd you do tonight? And he said, well, let me tell you this. The Philadelphia Phillies aren't the only local team in town who made a clean sweep this week. I mean, it looks like a lot of vehicles were taken tonight, Steve. So as far as the riders go, how were they taking this news, this surprise confiscation? All differently. The first riders, when we were there in the daytime, they were not happy with the cops or with us. The next ones, they were getting tickets, and these fines are up to $2,000. Some had smiles on their faces, right? A lot recognized me and said, hey, that's the price you pay, right? And then a lot of others were just getting off the bikes or the ATVs and running, including one guy who's wanted for murder at oh. 18th and Mifflin. And then they had to call SWAT in to clear a house that they thought he ran in. The helicopter thought they spotted him going to the house. He didn't turn out to be there, but he led the red ATV behind, and they got a little bit more proof. And that tells you uh, that you don't just get bikes and ATVs in some of these roundups. Sometimes you can find the killer among the crowd. Right. Are we going to see more of this, Steve? Uh, I bet you do, because uh, we're getting, I put these things on Twitter starting late today in the afternoon, and the public response was overwhelming, and the police like that. It's not like they're out here showing off. They didn't really want us long earlier in the week when I asked for permission. Uh, we just got some tips on where they'd be, and I think you're going to see the public say, we need to do this more often, yeah. especially if they had such a success like they did tonight. Yep, we've all, all been right. driving down the street, and it's inundated by them, either behind us and you know, cutting through traffic, and it's, yeah. just, it's just dangerous. All right, Steve. Thank you very yeah. much.